Boy, I sure wish the electric company would get out of here and move this transformer. I mean, look, I've got a perfectly good garage, and then I got both my vehicles sitting outside. Well, you know, I guess one uh, one could always just, you know, go build themselves a nice big garage. Actually, you know what? Let's go do that. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you like and subscribe. If we hit 150,000 subscribers by November 22nd, I'll give away 10 copies of Farm Sim 22. By the way, that's 7,500 or so away with one day over a month left to get there. So so, uh, you guys pretty much have a month to go and 7,000 yet to go. I know that might, might seem like it's, un, you know, not gonna happen. But last month we gained, what was it, 9 or 10,000 subs. So it's definitely able. Anyways, enough of words of encouragement on that. Let's park this thing up over here in the big yard that we, you know, tore up. And, uh, we'll put that in the garage once we get one built. Uh, it should be built today, but, you know, obviously it's not here yet. Oh, man, now I gotta walk back. And, yeah, ign ignore the street signs. Yeah, sometimes I just, you know, I gotta give the city uh, you know something to do something to fix well it's nice walking with you guy all right well we finally made it back hey are you gonna go pour the concrete for my place thanks for answering my question jerk anyways let's go ahead and get in the ram and we're gonna go to the store and pick up something that i think would be really really cool to have so i was thinking the other day i should probably buy a tractor because you never know when you're gonna need something with some good horsepower so i got to looking around and uh, i think i found one that i like so we're gonna go take a look at it here no cop no stop and we're rolling What's a good thing I never see the cops around here because we are speeding like crazy. Oh, whoo, good thing that opened too. All right, right up here ought to do. Let's run inside and see where this thing might be. Actually, let's run up here real quick because I've never been on the top floor. Wow, and it opens up. Oh, this is really cool. There's a balcony and you can see our tractor. Well, I just jumped off the balcony. Probably not a safe idea, but there she is. The 49, the 4490. I about called it a 4940. And that, my friends, is discalculator. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop in the case. Fire it up. Let's see how she sounds. Ooh. Oh, yeah. She's definitely an old iron. But the most important question, do the flishy flash and wishy wash lights work? Yes, they do. Ah, uh, fantastic. Well, that was my only requirement, so I guess I'll go ahead and buy this thing. Caution. Do not use rear steer during road transportation. Okay, definitely will. BTO lever must be completely on or it. It'll what? What will it do? How am I supposed to know if you're not going to finish your set? I do actually like that it has cold start assistance, though. That's a nice feature. Anyways, I'm sure we'll figure out what that it was in at some point in, in owning this tractor. Oh, sorry, so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come back and get you later, Ram. So why am I not supposed to use the all weird... Oh, 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 I think I found out why. Oh, that's why. Because it gets really difficult to drive at those speeds. Well, Mama didn't raise no quitter, so we're going to leave him on. Oh, hey, you want a hug? Wow, how rude. It's International Hug Day. Actually, I don't think it is International Hug Day, but that's a thing. Truck, 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 truck. Me first. I'm more important important in you, buddy. Sorry. You know, before we take this thing all the way back home, I kind of want to see what it can do. So let's take her through a couple of tests. Step, step, up, uh, 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 the, the fit through trees test is a fail. I was going to say step one is to see how it handles the suspension. So we just got to go right on over here and yeah, there you go. See if she can climb it. Come on, baby. A rock climbing in a tractor. You never thought you'd see this, did you? I think we can get this. I think I just need to, yep, there we go. Just like that. And then, ooh, I let off too much. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is sick. We got it. Would you look at that? The Case 4490 is actually a rock crawling machine. Can it go down the rock? Oh, oh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, how could you do me like that? I think we have a small problem here now. I may have gotten myself stuck. Wow, look at that. I got unstuck somehow. All right, what else do you guys think we go and test? Oh, I guess we test it's going down a rock hill. Seemed to have been working just fine. Let's test its, uh, its tippiness. We're going to try and drive on that rock sideways, and if we tip, we lose. Here we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Dude, look at that. Look how sideways we are. Holy cow. Actually, though, I might have put myself in a sticky situation here. Um, oh, I can't get it to... Well, we are going to tip this thing no matter what I do here. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised we haven't really fully tipped it yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. All right. In that case, I'm going to give it a good tip rating, too. So far, this tractor seems like it might be the best tractor yet. All right, guys, we're sitting on this incline. We're going to see if it can get up the incline from a... From a 
start. So we're gonna test its hill start. Here we go. And we're rolling. Oh, oh, it's gonna it's gonna get it just fine. Look at that. The low end torque. I was driving up this earlier and it barely made it up it, but it actually did really good just then. We should probably get off the track though, huh? Well, guys, I'm pretty much sold. This tractor is really, really good. There's one final thing I, I guess we could test, and uh well that could be very dangerous depending on how deep this gets. So we'll just very lightly um you know what? I'm not gonna complain that uh it floats. It can float on water. Actually, this is this is kind of good to see. It gives me an idea for another video. I suppose that's enough testing this thing. Let's get it to the shop and see what we can do to mess it up. Oh, we got hit by a train. Oh, that's why you never try to cross a track without looking. Well, I guess one could say we did already achieve messing it up. It's because I was trying to climb this hill and this is, I mean, we were going so slow at it, like this slow and uh, then a train hit us. So that's good. Anywho, back to the new garage that we just got built. Wow, there she is, boys. Look at that. That is a really nice shed. Holy cow. All right, I got to say the shed builders actually kind of overdid themselves on this one. Super nice in here. All concrete floors, a couple volunteer plants, door at the end and a door on the side. 60 by 120 shed. This is real nice. Oh, look at that. The lights actually work in here. Yeah, love it. That's a nice shed. All right, well, I suppose let's uh, open that up and then we're going to put the old semi and camper in. Also, this whole grass strip we own, so we have a lot more room to expand and build whatever we want out here. But for now, let's back this old guy into the barn here. There we go. Got that put away. Now, I think it's about time we take the 49, the 4490 into the shop here and uh, we see what just what we can do to this thing, shall we? Woo! think we're done. Check it out. We uh, replaced the old rubber tires for some more eco-friendly metal tires. I mean, look at these suckers. Look how much more aerodynamic they got. I bet you this thing will pass through any mud. Problem is, we don't have a whole lot of that out here yet. We need to get some rain. But we can still take this thing out for a spin, shall we? Let's see how the old metal machine handles the uh, roadway. Oh, goodbye sign. Oh, hello sign. I guess we'll just take the sign with us, you know what I mean? It was a caution sign, I think. So, uh, you know, there's another one we've hit. Actually, this might be a priority sign. I mean, either way, it's appropriate. On one hand, I am the priority. On the other hand, people should probably caution me. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, oh. Our poor sign. It keeps getting caught in the wheels. Oh, well, anyways, let's see how it handles off-road. So if you guys remember how the rubber tires handled climbing rock over here, let's give it... Let it you see how the um, the metal tires handle it, huh? Oh, 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 wait. It's even more of a beast. What? Dude, it climbed up that instantly. Oh, no. Oh, are we going to be able to get out of it this time? Dude, yes, we did. Oh, my gosh. The metal tires are better. I put these on as a joke, but I seriously think the metal tires might be better. All right, here we go. We're going to try. It's the next one down. One sec. We're going to try the sideways thing. Now, this might actually be a, a, an area where the metal tires don't work as good. Oh, wait. It's actually way down there. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to give it a try. Line it up and get it to go on sideways. There we go. I mean, hey, it's doing it pretty good. Actually, the metal tires handled that pretty well. You're not going to believe this, but I think the metal tires actually handle sideways better too. All right, we've got like two more tests and we're in the clear because the train just went by. We shouldn't get hit with the train at least for a little while. All right, from near zero, we're rolling backwards ever so slightly. Here we go. Oh, we're going to get up just, just fine. All right, the last test is over here. How does she handle water? Let's see and yep like a champ no problem both aerodynamic and buoyant somehow don't question my logic this is reality well these tires work pretty well but i have another i have another design for the tire that i want to try out so let's go and uh swap these out real quick well this one sure made it sit up a little higher we got ufo discs now for uh for tires also with this i don't think you need a plow anymore i think your tires will do the job for you holy cow all right well let's take her for a spin so far we know the rubber tires the other dually metal tires and now I'm going to call this one the noodle cutter tires or pizza cutter, really. We're going to see how these ones uh, shape up to the other tires. All right, we've made it to the testing rock. This rock has been used for generations to determine the value of our tractors. It is tradition and become part of my heritage. And as we can see, this tractor is an absolute beast at it, too. Not quite as good as the dually metals, but that was still really good. Although I don't think this one's going to get itself on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, it did. Look at that. Okay, I was wrong. The spaghetti noodle cutting tires have passed uh, the assignment. <laughs> I am so sorry. Please don't hate me. But that was a terrible pun. Also, I'm lost now. Oh, there goes the train. At least I know I'm not going to get hit by it for a little while again. All right, I think right here is where we test the sideway tip ability. And if anything, I think these tires are going to perform the worst because... 
Well, just look at them. Oh, yeah. Well, wait, wait, there's still a chance. It's not over yet. We're still on the tires. We gotta keep pushing. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> All right, tip it back over then. Well, you know what? It, uh, it it didn't do great, but it wasn't terrible. Although, I guess it does technically have to get a fail. So, so far, these are the only tires to fail any category at all. We have the last two categories. Here we go. Yeah, this one's pretty much always going to be a pass because it doesn't really matter what the tires are. Unless it's winter. We could try this in winter and then it might make a difference. But we have one final test. So, let's give it a... Dude, we just caught air in a tractor. And, yep. They somehow, look, buoyancy is a questionable thing, okay? You see those red deals? Those aren't weights. Those are, those are life guards. They're, they're, they're the floaties. Yeah, that's what they are. They're the floaties that you use in the pool. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, hey, um, well, howdy, Prius. Uh, I didn't mean to just, uh, you know, where are we going? I don't know where we're going, but I'm following you. Oh, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, oh, uh, now he stops. Come on, I was going to use you to turn. I know, now we're stuck on you. Oh, wait, oh, 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 wait. Oh, anyways, as I was saying, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching. Kill the lights, I'm your assassin. No sleep.